Good morning, Ohio. Jordan Dunlap here, and it's a beautiful morning to get up, get outside, and to get active. Welcome back and thank you for joining us. I'm Jordan Dunlap. Now I know this kitchen kind of looks a little bit empty for now, but in just a little bit, we'll be cooking up something extra special for you at home. LeBron James is trading in his basketball for a pen and paper. This as he plans to write several children's books. Go LeBron! So I'm here with my producer, Emily, and we're getting ready to try an Oreo brownie. So I'll open this up. I'm very impressed. I think this is very good. And I love it, so we're just gonna eat this brownie. <laughs> See you later. Today is National Coffee Day, so of course I'm here in the office and I am getting my drink on. The world-renowned Buckeyes have officially released a new schedule in the event that there should be a season. And the Buckeyes will now play that team up north in week 8 of the season. I'm gonna step out of the shot so that you can see there are people gathered here from all ages, races, and ethnic backgrounds. A sweet moment of rapper Kanye West dancing with his daughter North has gone viral as mom Kim Kardashian captured the whole thing on cell phone video. It's bring your favorite book to work day. So here on this morning, I have a book called She is Free. Jordan Dunlap here for Ohio 24-7 now and grab your wallets because it's time to talk money. Now, unfortunately, we know that many people lost their jobs due to the pandemic. And in light of this, millennial entrepreneurs are sharing their secrets of how to keep generating income even when businesses shut down. This week, I spoke with one of those entrepreneurs, Brian White, who is a business owner, husband and father. And he says one of the truest keys to entrepreneurship is becoming a problem solver. Yeah, I think the biggest thing really is for millennials or people in our age group to really look at different ways they can, can solve problems. I think with COVID-19, there's a lot of new problems that have arisen that need solutions. While some may be looking to branch out and start that new business, Mr. White says do everything around your day job. I always tell people don't quit your job. So if you're just you know, tiptoeing into entrepreneurship, keep your nine to five and find things you can do around your schedule. Um, start that, they call it the, you know, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. schedule. Additionally, he adds that in the world we're in today, entrepreneurship is becoming a necessity. He also encouraged those who may be interested in taking that route to look at what you're already interested in and find ways to generate income through those things. I'm Jordan Dunlap for Ohio 24 seven now. While Black History Month was established back in 1926, history makers are continuing to be cultivated every day. This week, I sat down with a local pastor and a community leader who are both making major impacts throughout the city. Brian Williams is the pastor of Hope City House of Prayer, where people of all races, ages, and backgrounds come together to gather as one. Pastor Brian says when hearing the term black history, he thinks of the importance of world history as a whole. So often when we think of black history, we limit it to just the accomplishments of black people, how it's affected black people, but really uh, the history of our people as a people in America has affected change throughout the world. In addition to weekly services, Hope City has a ministry called Justice Talks that has already left a historic mark on the city of Columbus. With Justice Talks, which is an organization we started to hold community conversations around justice issues from a, from a biblical standpoint, uh, we've always just sought to make an impact in our city mm -hmm. and people from all over Columbus have come. We've talked about different things such as criminal justice reform. We've talked mm -hmm. about the opiate crisis, pretty much anything that's affecting the community. While Pastor Brian and Hope City are leaving such a historic legacy, Lauren Smith is another world changer who just so happens to be the marketing chair for the Columbus Urban League. She says the part of her legacy is building and sustaining black owned businesses. This is my legacy to help build the black dollar, to help build sustainable black businesses, to help us uh, get to a place where we're just like we're booming. <laughs> Along with her position at the Urban League, Lauren helps run Urban Accelerator X, which focuses on providing resources, education, and funding for urban entrepreneurs. Both Pastor Brian and Lauren agree that before we can know where we're headed, we must first know where we've been. They stress the importance of education and how black history is more than a celebratory month, but rather a lifestyle. 